Welcome to our parental engagement video on how to raise anti-racist children with a focus on beginning the conversation. Today's session aims will be focused around beginning the positive conversation around race. Developing an understanding of the term anti-racist on a multidimensional scale. Discussing positive strategies for supporting children to understand race, equality and inclusion. And to share school and partnership next steps. This year, the Inspire Partnership recognised that working towards developing an equity and diversity policy to promote equality for all. We recognise that this is a long term piece of work and that we have put together a team at Foxfield to work at school level in order to make a measurable difference to our community. We want to start a difficult but important conversation around diversity, equity, inclusion and equality. Breaking the silence about race with children isn't always easy, but with support and practice, you can help your child challenge stereotypes, embrace anti-racist thinking and speak up for racial justice. There is no absolute right time to have the conversation. If you haven't already had the conversation, it is not too late or too early. It should be ongoing. As a school, we recognise, embrace, promote, and celebrate the diversity of our community and are aiming to continuously speak out against any intolerance or injustice. I'd like you to take a moment to check out our Equality and Diversity at Foxfield YouTube video, introducing you all to beginning the conversation. Our humanities curriculum allows children to learn about cultures and people that are different to them which allows for all children to see themselves in the curriculum. Our working party at Foxfield is comprised of a variety of staff who work and lead on different areas and key stages across the school. You may be familiar with some of the names and welcome further discussion with any member of our team or your child's or children's class teacher. Here are the priorities of our Equality and Diversity Working Party. Firstly, we will work to develop language to build meaningful, continuing conversations around diversity, equity and equality. We will also grow confidence levels of all stakeholders through regular meaningful engagement and to develop an evidence base of qualitative and quantitative data to inform impactful connections with the wider community. Anti-racism refers to a form of action against racial hatred, bias, systematic racism and the oppression of marginalised groups. Anti-racism is usually structured around conscious efforts and a deliberate action to provide equitable opportunities for all people on an individual and in systematic level. Anti-racism is not something you are, it is something that you do. It is inclusive and ongoing. It is not about race. It is not a race thing, it is a human thing. Depending on your ethnicity and where you live, the conversations you have with your children about race will be very different. Many people of different ethnicities will be used to having conversations about race with their children. For many children who may not, such as in places like the northeast of England, where 93.6% of people are of white British ethnicity, they're much less likely to have any experience of mixing with other ethnicities, let alone witnessing racial inequality. There are many reasons why you may not feel comfortable talking about race, particularly with younger children. These may be because of locality, lack of knowledge, inexperience, having a fixed mindset, which is believing that conversation will not make a difference or that you may be unaware of your own personal bias. Strategies for modelling anti-racist behaviours begin with acknowledgement. Let your child or children know that it's perfectly okay to notice differences in skin colour, eye colour, hair colour, race and cultural differences. Affirming their observations, affirming their curiosity, lets them know that it is okay to notice these differences and begin this discussion. A possible script may be, well done for noticing. Yes, you are right, there is a difference. 
in. And would you like to know more about? One of the strategies for modelling anti-racist behaviours is to encourage. You should encourage your child to ask questions, share observations and experiences and be respectfully curious about race. Expose your child to different cultural opportunities, such as photographs, films, books or cultural events, for example, and discuss the experience afterwards. You don't have to be an expert on race to talk with, our, with your child. Be honest about what you don't know and work with your child to find out accurate information. The third strategy is all around modelling. Let your child see you acknowledge and face your own personal biases. Choose books and toys that include persons of different races and ethnicities. Visit museums with exhibits about a range of cultures and religions. We're less likely to pass on biases we identify and work to overcome. Give your child an example of a bias, racial or otherwise, that you hold or have held previously. Share with your child things you do to confront and overcome these biases. Another strategy is to connect. Talk about the histories and experience of the racial, ethnic and cultural groups you and your family identify with. Talk about their contributions and acknowledge the less flattering parts of those histories as well. Study and talk about the histories and experience of minority ethnic groups. Be sure that your child understands that every racial and ethnic group includes people who believe different things and behave in different ways. Our fifth strategy is all around sharing, lifting up the freedom fighters and telling stories of resistance and resilience against any bigotry or oppression or racial injustice, such as movements like the Black Lives Matter. Every big story of racial oppression is also a story about people fighting back and speaking truth into power. Teach your child those parts of the story too. Include women and children and young adults among the stories that you tell. A story about ra racial struggle in which all, these, all the heroes are men wrongly leaves many people out. Another strategy is modelling that anti-racism is a verb. You can show this by doing the work and understand and overcome your own bias. Honouring your child's humanity teaches them to honour the humanity of others. You can share the work of black authors, artists and scientists with your children. You can buy dolls or toys that are representative of all races. Talk about the differences in skin colour and where they come from. And that connecting with your child teaches them how to connect with other people. Our next strategy is all around challenge. Make race talks with your children or child routine. Race is a topic that you should plan to revisit again and again and again and in many different ways over time. Don't be a bystander on race. We have a wide range of texts available to support all staff and parents, so please feel free to contact the school to borrow a text. We welcome any suggestions that you may have. Below are a couple of examples of wider reading for children. Children should be exposed to books that celebrate diversity, demonstrate visibility, and representation of characters that reflect our community and reflect their own personal experiences. In order to ensure that we continue to be an anti-racist school, here are some of our next steps. We will be introducing the HALO project, which will come on in the latest slide. We'll also introduce the mentorship programme. We will be showing bespoke faith assemblies tailored for inclusivity for all. We will also have a question box where children or adults may ask questions that we can hopefully then answer. And we will also be sharing further training for all staff. Here at Foxville, we are proud to announce that we have now adopted the HALO code as a part of our school uniform policy. The HALO code champions the right of staff and students to embrace all Afro, Afro hairstyles. We acknowledge that Afro textured hair is an important part of our black staff and students' racial, ethnic, cultural 
and religious identities and requires specific styling for hair health and maintenance. For more support on ideas on how to help address racism and discrimination, here are some websites that you can go into. Uh, these websites will also be in the description underneath the video. Thank you for joining us today on how to raise anti-racist children, beginning the conversation. We hope that you will join us as the conversation continues. If you would like to contribute or have any questions about this, please contact the Working Party through info at foxfield.grinage.sch.uk. Thank you again. Thank you for engaging with us in this video. As a value school, we understand that equality is not about treating all people the same way, but about recognising and respecting diversity enough to adapt practices and procedures to suit all. These practices could be pertaining to gender, age, religion, culture, language and perceived ability or disability. The aim is to establish a community ethos and united stand against racism in all of its forms for all of our children. We will continue to develop our resources and support for supporting all members of our community to confidently talk about equity, equality and diversity.